Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Bubala. And I'm Kai Jackson. Federal agents make big moves in Baltimore City to get criminals off the streets. Prosecutors say six gang members are indicted on a wide range of charges, including murder, and a man is sentenced for a string of carjackings. It comes nearly four months after state leaders announced a plan to fight crime in Baltimore. This Al Capone model of prosecution is designed to take violent people off the streets by any appropriate legal means necessary. Fox 45's Alexa Ashwell will take a closer look at the crackdown on carjackings in just a few minutes. Our team coverage begins with Jeff Abel and the charges facing the alleged gang members. Jeff. Well, this sweeping indictment goes straight to the core of the Black Gorilla gang family. And it is a family with a very strict code of conduct that can be lethal to anyone who fails to comply. Investigators say the Black Gorilla family has been terrorizing city streets for almost a decade. And according to federal prosecutors, the highly organized gang has brought guns, drugs, and death to an already violent city. The Black Gorilla family is singularly the most significant threat to public safety in Baltimore for the past decade or longer. A federal indictment unsealed today charges six men associated with the gang with six murders, 11 shootings, and any number of attempted murders and robberies. And among those charged is Baltimore rapper YGG Tay, whose name is Devante Harrison. According to the indictment, Harrison partnered more than a decade ago with a BGF member and began supplying heroin and cocaine to street-level drug shops in Baltimore City. And when a customer failed to pay his drug debt, prosecutors say Harrison supplied the BGF member with $10,000 and a gun, with the, which the BGF member used to shoot the man to death. On another day, prosecutors say defendant Barack Old shot and killed a neighborhood drug trafficker while she was pushing her infant daughter in a stroller. The reason? She failed to obtain permission from BGF. They are ruthless, they are organized, they are cunning, and they are too often two steps ahead of law enforcement. <laughs> But this summer, a new violent crime reduction unit was created to get one step ahead of violent criminals. Violence has been at extraordinary rates for far too long. And exceptional times require exceptional actions. Former prosecutor Theru Vignaraja predicts today's indictment will have an impact. When they come in with the heavy hammer of a federal judge and federal sentencing guidelines, you know that that's going to send a clear signal that this violence is not going to be tolerated. All six defendants are charged tonight with federal racketeering and conspiracy charges, charges which, if found guilty, could put them away for life. We're live tonight, Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News.